Hello and welcome. As you know, OneHashCal is now integrated with Razorpay, thus making your payments smooth and easy. In this video, we will learn how to add Razorpay to your OneHashCal account. For this, you need to have an active Razorpay account. As you can see, I have already logged in into my Razorpay account. Post that, we'll log in into our OneHashCal account. Once you are in the OneHashCal application, you have to go to the Apps section, which is in the side navigation panel. We will click on Apps. In the Apps, you have to scroll down to the Recently Added section. Over here, you will see Razorpay. We will click on Details and then Install Application. Once you click on install, it will ask you for authorization. We'll authorize it here. Now we will learn how to add the payment module to the event types. For that, we have to go to the event types, which is in the side navigation panel. We'll click on event types. As you can see, I have multiple events created, such as doctor's appointment, saloon appointment, interviews, Let's suppose I'm a doctor and I want my patients to first complete the payment and then an appointment should be booked. For that, I will have to add the Razorpay payment module to the event type. So for that, I will go to that specific event type. Over here, it is book doctor's appointment. I will click on it. Here, you have to go to the app section. In the app section, you will find Razorpay. We'll switch the toggle on. Once you do it, it will ask you for price and currency type. For me, it will be 3 rupees. And in the currency type, you can add currency as per your requirements. It will be Indian rupee for me. Once you have filled all the information, you will save the details. And with this, we have completed the integration of Razorpay with your OneHashCal account. Now we will see the booking process using Razorpay. Let's suppose a patient has to book an appointment with me. For that, they will go to my URL, which is cal.id slash gauri. Over here, you can see as I have added the payment method just to this event type, it's showing three rupees here. So the patient will click on the appointment select a date 6th 10 10 and pay to book once the payment is completed the booker will be redirected to the confirmation page with this we have completed our session on how to integrate Razorpay to your OneHashCal account and how the booking process will proceed now we will look into the cancellation process so cancellation can proceed either with a refund or without a refund. Let's suppose I'm a doctor and due to some circumstances, I'll have to cancel the appointment. To do so, I will go to the booking section. Over here, I will go in the upcoming bookings. I'll select cancel event for that specific booking. This will take you to the cancellation page. Over here, you can see there is a toggle switch. So if I turn this toggle switch on and then cancel the event, the event will be canceled, initiating a refund. That is, the booker will receive a refund. And if I switch it off, I turn off the toggle button and then I cancel the event, then no refund will be initiated. So I'll turn it on and cancel the event. This will cancel the event and the booker will receive a refund. With this, we have completed our cancellation process, which is either with a refund or without a refund. This brings us to the end of the video. In this video, we learned about integrating OneHashCal with Razorpay, how the meetings will be booked and the cancellation process. Thank you so much and please do subscribe to our channel.